In this Tech Corner video, I will show you how to use the XRide Color Checker with Capture One to create a custom color profile for your images. Every camera manufacturer has slight variations in the way the camera interprets color, and all light sources have slight variations with color temperature. As a photographer, it is your responsibility to start with the correct colors before doing any post-production work. This is imperative when shooting commercial, fashion or product photography, but is just as relevant with all other photography styles. Using a color checker on all your shoots will ensure you have a perfect starting point, even if you are planning on color grading your images creatively. I have a separate video on why you should use a color checker, and I will leave a link to that video in the description below for anyone interested. So to start, you will need a color checker and the color checker camera calibration software. I will assume, since you are watching this video, that you already own an X-Rite color checker. It doesn't have to be the color checker passport, but does need to be one of the X-Rite variants to work with the X-Rite software. I'm sure other brands have similar software to create the ICC profile, but since I use the color checker from X-Rite, that's what I will be focusing on in this video. Keep in mind that the process within Capture One is the same regardless of the brand of color checker you use, so the only difference with other brands will be the software to generate the ICC profile. Next, you will need to download and install the camera calibration software, and I will leave a download link to the X-Rite software in the description below. Once you have the camera calibration software installed on your computer, it is time to open Capture One to prepare the color calibration image. When taking a photo of the color checker, make sure the color checker fills a large portion of the image. For best results, you need the color checker to be sharp and clear in your photos. Start by cropping the image down to just show the color checker. This image will be exported as a 16-bit TIFF file, so the smaller it is, the smaller the file size you will be dealing with. You can change the crop tool to unconstrained ratio by right-clicking on the crop tool and selecting unconstrained from the drop-down menu. Next, go over to the color tab and scroll down to base characteristics. Click on the ICC profile drop-down and select show all, then click again on the ICC profile drop-down and this time the full list will appear. Go down to Effects and click on No Color Correction. Next, on the Curve drop-down menu, select Linear Response. Now it's time to export your color checker image so you can create a custom ICC profile. In the Output tab, select the TIFF recipe. Make sure the format is TIFF, 16-bit and uncompressed. Also check the scale is fixed at 100%. Finally, select your output location and process the image. Once the export is finished, you can close Capture One since Capture One needs to be restarted after the new ICC profile is created. Now start the Extrad Color Checker camera calibration software. Make sure you are on the ICC TIFF tab and drag and drop your TIFF file onto the software. The calibration software should auto-detect the color checker and align the crop marks accordingly. You can also manually adjust the crop points to align the squares more accurately. Finally, click on Create Profile. Give it a name, usually the name of the project, and click Save. It can take a few minutes to create the ICC profile, so just sit back and let the software do its thing. Once the profile is created, you can now launch Capture One again. Once Capture One loads, go back to your color tab, click on ICC Profile and select Show All. Then click the ICC Profile again, go down to Other and select the profile you just created. Finally, change the curve to whichever option works best for your images. I typically use Film Standard, but experiment with which works best for you. Now if we compare the generic profile to the new ICC profile, you can see the difference it has made, especially with the blue, yellow and purple. To copy this profile to all your images, simply highlight all the images in the series. You can select individual images by holding down Ctrl or Command key on your keyboard and selecting the images with your mouse, or you can select a block of images by selecting the first image, holding down Shift and selecting the last image. Finally, make sure the image with the correct ICC profile is selected and click the copy icon on the base characteristics tool. 
Now all your images have the correct color profile and you are ready to start editing. Having the correct color profile on your images is just as important as having a calibrated monitor and it gives you a peace of mind that the colors in your image are accurate. Again, if you do want to learn more about why you should use a color checker, have a look at my color checker video linked in the description below. Thanks for watching this Tech Corner video. Please comment below with any questions and if you have found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up as it helps me create more videos for you. Also, if you haven't yet, please make sure you have subscribed and press the bell notification icon so you get an alert when new videos come out.